Detectives tell us they know which weapon the shooter or shooters used, but won't release that information publicly. Some of the victims have been released from the hospital, but detectives aren't releasing specifics about their conditions. We did learn from the president today, of all people, that police in Birmingham found a Glock switch at the scene of that shooting. Yeah, that information came as Birmingham Mayor Randall Whitman was at the White House to help announce a new initiative to target devices like this and get them off the streets. On your side, investigative reporter Jim Horton joining us in studio now. And um, what can you tell us now? As you mentioned, the White House is rolling out a new initiative to crack down and combat violent crime, specifically with regard to conversion devices and Glock switches. A Glock switch or conversion device converts a semi-automatic weapon into a machine gun. President Joe Biden signed an executive order that creates a task force to assess emerging gun threats, which includes Glock switches. The task force will look into how the federal agents are seizing these devices and the best way to fight this growing trend. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin spoke at the event, highlighting how this issue is impacting cities across the country. Saving lives is the most American thing we can do together. We've been working with our U.S. Attorney, with the Justice Department, to get machine gun conversions, like Glock switches, off our city streets. President Joe Biden highlighted Glock switches match or exceed the rate of military machine guns. He, along with the vice president, says it's time to reinstate the assault weapons ban, something the mayor said lowered crime in Birmingham while it was in effect in the 90s.